It is the dawn of the fishboat, a submersible weapon in the mid-19th century, and you are its inventor. The United States is in the midst of a large-scale rebellion. That means there is money to be made. In this solitaire game, you design, build, and send your submarine into battle. First, you select which side to play, north or south. Then you select a scenario or a campaign. If a campaign is chosen, you can pick the city or port where your machine shop is located. Next, you must recruit. Building a fish boat is expensive, so you will need investors. Let's hope one won't insist on being captain. You will need mechanics who know how to put things together and make them work. Being rated for engineering expertise, mechanics are useful in your shop and on the boat. Journeymen and sailors can also be recruited to make their contributions as well. Once you have your team, let's roll up those sleeves and get to work, putting that money and engineering expertise to use. Although this is the middle of the 19th century, your fish boat is a window into the 20th. Despite their cost, snorkels, ballast tanks, hydrodynamic prows, dive planes, and hatch covers are considered necessities for your submarine. Maybe you will achieve a technology breakthrough by installing an airlock or a magnetic engine. That is, if your mechanics have the know-how and you have the funds. While investors increase your funds, mechanics and journeymen deplete them. So do the materials you need to build your fish boat. Keep track of funds on the mechanics board. Your machine shop is doing business too, bringing in money to support this pet project of building a marvel of cutting-edge technology. You will want recruits that increase your shop's expertise value, and you will need to satisfy the expertise requirements of each part you incorporate into your fish boat. War is raging around you, and the business environment is not static. Prices may fluctuate, circumstances may force your hand, but never mind. Your task is to build a seaworthy fish boat and then launch it against a target. Successful missions allow you to reel in the prize money. Before you actually send your mechanical marvel and its crew against the enemy, you will need the War Department's okay. You may need to wine and dine to get it. Because this is a new technology, your crewmen start as rookies, meaning proper training is essential. The only way to do that is to put them inside the fish boat and put that marble in the water. Let's hope they survive their training. Even a training mission can be dangerous. Your crew will most likely propel the fish boat by cranking the propeller shaft. Their combined strength, or that of a mechanical engine, will be compared to the weight and navigability of the boat. And if that comparison is not in your favor, the fish boat will be vulnerable to drift and calamity. You will need to manage fatigue. You will need to manage air. And the morale of the crew may become problematic in that claustrophobic environment. Once trained, you can launch both crew and submarine against the enemy. Make sure conditions are right. You don't want to capsize your fish boat before you, the crew gets the chance to see the elephant and strike at the enemy. Secrecy is all important, and your crew's job will be that much easier and safer if they make a surprise attack. The game uses cards and player decision to shape the mission. The tide or current, as well as meteorological conditions, can be as dangerous as the enemy. A moonlit night can help your captain navigate and locate a target, but it may also help the enemy spot your fish boat, and that could prove disastrous. It doesn't help that your crew is in the belly of a machine, and machines break down. You will need crewmen capable of keeping their cool while troubleshooting in the dark. If your crew finds a target, they and the submarine close in for the attack. Are you towing a mine or pushing a torpedo at the end of a spar? Are you delivering a spy or are you unloading a demolition party? Will your fish boat succeed and give Jules Verne something to write about? Or will you, sadly, add the names of your crew to the rolls of the missing?